Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price and also where the CMEs and the DXY stopped yesterday on Friday. And before we start, a little reminder, we still have this special Bybit bonus going on. If you put this voucher code in the rewards hub, you can then put a deposit up to 0.3 Bitcoin and get up to $180 completely for free extra. And there is also this trading event going on on Femex. So if you don't know Femex, this is also a very nice trading exchange where you can trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage. If you want to open up an account, you can use the sign up link down below here in the video description you will get $80 sign up bonus and also you can participate to the event because here you can win this prize pool depending how many participants there will be and also you can join my team of course you find all the links down below here in the video description regarding to the event and now let's start with the content my friends because here in the one hour time frame you can see that Bitcoin is still trading sideways and all the moving averages are coming together here so I'm expecting expecting here a possible move during the weekend potentially maybe a pump and dump like we have seen already many times during the weekends but here definitely something will come a move because in my opinion when all the moving averages are coming again together we will see potentially at least a couple of hundreds of dollars to the upside or to the downside and remember wherever we are going during the weekend most of the times we are retracing where the CME is closed otherwise we're gonna have a new CME gap like we did during the last weekend and then often we have just a little gap filling before we then continue our trend which right now is still to the upside even though here for the short to midterm it is looking like that we could see here potential correction towards ten thousand eight hundred dollar so the CME closed at 11,370. So keep that in mind wherever the price is going during the weekend. And currently we have here in the one hour the RSI below the 50 level. So in theory, we should expect here some movements to the downside, especially if the 20 and 50 moving average are crossing the 200, which is right here at 11,350. And also if you have a look into the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we had a close here on the bearish side. So we could see continuation to the downside and currently the bottom is right here at $11,300. We have MACD and KST still shifted to the upside, but here as soon as we're gonna have a bearish cross, I think this will initiate a potential test towards $11,000. Potentially, we also will see a bounce here at $11,300, but I think if we're coming that low, most likely we're also going to touch again $11,000. And you see also that the stochastic now is shifted to the downside. And if we have a look where the DXY stopped on Friday, you can see that here we were gearing up for a potential move here to the upside. We were just crossing here the 50 level in the RSI and also trading above all the moving averages. So here I was expecting to see a possible big move towards this 94 dollar resistance, but it didn't happen. So maybe we're going to see this in the coming week. And now let's open up the four hour time frame because here you can also see that currently the 20 moving average is giving us resistance. So once we're gonna have a four hour close above 11,370, I'm expecting here a possible move towards $11,600. I think we will not go higher than that if we're gonna break out here to the upside from this 20 moving average resistance during the weekend but of course this is what we're gonna have to see if we have such a close because currently we are still getting rejected from it and I think it is very likely that if here this resistance is too strong and we will not have a bounce here at $11,200 that we will come down here to test the 200 moving average and it's also coinciding with the support down here of $10,800 we have the RSI also now trending below the 50 level so here we would have a lot of room left to the downside and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band also here you can see that currently we are trading on the lower area and we could also easily go down here towards $11,200 as well. We have also stochastic KST and MACD shifted to the downside. So we will most likely see here continuation to the downside before maybe we're coming up again towards 11,370 where we are right now and where the CME closed on Friday. And now let's compare it to the DXY because here we have exactly the opposite. Here we are trending above the 20 moving average and this moving average so far is giving 
giving us very nicely support so in theory we should see a big bounce here to the upside the RSI is also above the 50 level so I, this is where I was expecting a possible big move here towards is $94 and I think probably next week we will see such a test here of this important resistance that the DXY is still having only if this one is getting broken I think we will see a major correction in the Bitcoin price but as long as the DXY is trading in this falling wedge I'm expecting here a rejection and a possible big fall here towards the support of $91 and that of course would lead into a big pump in the Bitcoin price and now let's go back to the Bitcoin price and open up the daily time frame because the daily is still looking bullish here in theory because we are trading above all the moving averages and also the 20 daily is giving us support right here where our main support is of this upwards trending channel so in theory we should expect here a big move to the upside potentially towards thirteen thousand eight hundred dollar the problem here is only that we are getting a sell signal right now and it is also confirmed so in theory we could see here a potential major move to the downside but if we are losing here this ten thousand eight hundred dollar support we will potentially come down to the 200 daily or maybe even retest this old resistance which now is new support exactly at nine thousand dollar so i probably will go back all in with the fiat that i have on the sideline once here we are getting again a buy signal so once this indicator is cooled off and here we are hitting again a buy signal i potentially go again all in because i think this is still the last opportunity to maybe buy some cheap bitcoin before we really head towards new levels the good thing is also that currently we have the RSI above the 50 level so I think if we're gonna have a correction below $10,800 it's gonna be probably very short lift and also if you have a look into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we are still trading here in the upper area but we lost here this first moving average here at 11,370 so today probably we are trading between 11,370 and $11,000 because the midline is right here at 11,000 and that's why I think most likely likely at least in the next coming week we will see a possible retest of this $11,000 and at the same time also close this little CME gap that we have at $11,100. You see also that the stochastic now is shifted to the downside, so we should expect continuation also to the downside. And uh, we have MACD and KSD still shifted to the upside, which is bullish. But as soon as here we're going to have a bearish cross, if we're not able to push higher again towards $11,600, then I'm expecting here this 11K and potentially even go lower. Because here the bottom of the Bollinger Band currently is at $10,300. So it is also very reasonable that we're coming down to these levels. But if we are losing $10,000, 800 which is right here in the middle of the Bollinger Band then I think we will see also potentially sub 10k incoming pretty soon and that is what I told you already many times my friend probably the last opportunity to buy Bitcoin so cheap and now let's have a look also into the DXY in the daily because here we're having exactly the opposite. We are getting a buy signal and even though the DXY is in a bear market and creating this bullish pattern, I think we could see a potential short lift breakout to the upside if the DXY is strong enough because if we're not able to break out from this 94 resistance, we will see continuation to the downside and in that case potentially even break out here to the downside but if the DXY is strong enough I'm watching out here for a possible move towards a 200 daily moving average to get rejected there and then continue here this bear market but if we see such a move in the DXY this of course will lead into a big crash in the Bitcoin price and overall also in the stock market and now we can have a final look into the weekly time frame because the weekly is still looking very bullish here and we should expect continuation to the upside especially if you are keeping up here with the 20 weekly moving average right at $10,500 so even though we could drop lower here important is that the weekly candles we're gonna close here above the 20 weekly we also got a buy signal here again so we could see potentially continuation towards thirteen thousand eight hundred dollar but as i told you short lift maybe we're gonna see a correction even down here towards 9k rsi is still above the 50 level so that is still very bullish and if we have a look here into the bollinger band you can see that after closing a weekly candle again above this first 
moving average here at eleven thousand dollar now in theory we should be trading between eleven thousand and twelve thousand five hundred dollar let's see if we are able to close this weekly candle above 11k this will confirm us that we will stay and remain here in this area up here only if we will have a weekly close below 11k again then this was a false breakout and we should see continuation here towards the midline of 10,500 and potentially even head lower because the bottom of the Bollinger Band currently is at $8,500 so in theory we could drop even towards these levels and that's why I think if we can buy some Bitcoin and altcoins in the price levels here of around 9k this will be the perfect buy there is a chance that we maybe even drop lower but everything at around 9k should be the perfect buy and probably the lowest entry for the next coming weeks we also have MACD and KST now shifted to the downside we had a bearish cross here but the stochastic now is coming up here towards neutral condition after being oversold so the weekly could have a potential week to the downside here even below the middle line but important is to watch where these weekly candles are going to close that is the most important thing and in my opinion they will most likely close at least above 10k in the next coming weeks even though we could expect here a drop below so the conclusion is still that in the short to mid term we could see a potential dump even towards 9k you should be prepared for that scenario also if you're starting to open up longs in Bybit or Femix then make sure that you can handle the price even if it's going down to 9 K. and of course for the long term we are very bullish so try to accumulate as much bitcoins as you can before the real bull run is starting and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you very much for watching if you like the content make sure to leave a like and also subscribe here to the channel and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye